Good morning, happy Wednesday, and here are our lessons for the day for May 6th. You can find all of our lessons for the day on the weekly agenda on our Canvas page, and we are on Wednesday, so here are some brief descriptions along with the success criteria that I will go over in this video. English language arts. So today's focus is nonfiction writing. We're going to be starting a brand new topic today. So different from the topic that you chose last week and the week before. And today you're going to use the same graphic organizer that you used last week and the week before to sketch and write three facts about your new nonfiction topic. And the success criteria for the day is I can use my graphic organizer too choose a new topic, so different from the topic that you chose last week, sketch three facts with labels, and write three facts using the sentence stems that are right on the graphic organizer for you. So you can find the graphic organizer under the Wednesday column where all of our resources and documents are. And we have two versions of the graphic organizer today. We have a Word document that you can type right into if you need to, or we have a PDF version that you can print out and write on. Um, I've also saw that last week, some people chose to look at the graphic organizer on their computer and just write it on a piece of paper without printing or typing it, which is perfectly fine too. So this is what your graphic organizer looks like. And today your focus is to write your facts and draw your facts for fact number one, fact number two, and fact number three and some supporting resources that you can use to help you come up with topics and facts to write about are, one is Bookshelf, and you can find that on your Clever page. And here are just a few examples of nonfiction texts that you can find on Bookshelf. We've got Life of a Hurricane, so one about storms, nonfiction texts about grapes, and one about stink bugs. And those are just three examples, but you can find lots of nonfiction texts on Bookshelf. And another supporting resource that you can use if you've already finished your inventory and Lexile assessment is Maya, and here are a few examples of nonfiction texts that you can find on Maya. Um, How do animals give us food? Martin Luther King Jr. and Triceratops. And there are lots of different um, examples of nonfiction books on Maya as well that you can use for ideas if you'd like. Today, your job on Mayan is to begin the Lexile assessment if you haven't already. And you can watch the video on Canvas to see how to um, complete that Lexile assessment. And that is in the same uh, resources table. You can just click right on the video in that table and it'll walk you through how to take the Lexile assessment. If you start at one minute and 26 seconds, that is where the information about the Lexile assessment is on that video. And today for math, our focus is to complete one iReady lesson. Count on to add is what the lesson is called. And your success criteria is I can choose a strategy that makes sense and use that strategy accurately to solve those problems in your iReady lesson. And that is on the teacher assigned side. So those lessons in the blue box, there are two lessons for counting on to add. You need to pick one count on to add lesson to complete today. And if you've already completed your count on to add lessons, you can go ahead and work on some My Path lessons on iReady if you'd like to still do some iReady math today. And as always, don't forget to read independently for 30 minutes. Um, Mayan is a good place to read books as well as bookshelf. Check out our specialist websites for additional activities. And today there are office hours for families at 11 o'clock on Zoom, and I will send out the link for those with this video. And our class Zoom today is at 1 o'clock, so I hope to see you all there. Have a great Wednesday and see you at 1 o'clock. Bye.